Matthew, Mark, and Luke all mention a man named Simon from North Africa who assisted the Savior in carrying his cross to Golgotha. Matthew and Mark emphasize the fact that Simon was bearing his, meaning Christ's, cross. Do we pause to consider the significance that the Son of God himself was served? Christ is indeed the ultimate example not only of serving others, but also of accepting service. Matthew and Mark both use the word compel to describe the fact that Simon was forced into service. Simon didn't choose to carry the Savior's cross. Likewise, we rarely get to pick the burdens we bear, but we can choose whether we become resentful or allow our crosses to draw us closer to Christ. Only Mark informs us that Simon is the father of Alexander and Rufus. Mentioning Simon's children by name suggests that they were known in Mark's Christian community. Perhaps Simon's carrying the Savior's cross influenced him and his children to become faithful Christians. How will our reactions to the unchosen crosses placed upon our shoulders affect us and those we love? Luke alone records that Simon carried the cross after, or in other words, while following Jesus. In this respect, Simon sets an example for each of us. He didn't just suffer with a trial doing the best he could on his own. He carried his cross while following Jesus. We can do likewise. When we struggle under the burdens of circumstances and sin, we can continue to move forward step by step following Christ. Of course, the largest difference among the Gospels is in John's account, in which Simon is not mentioned at all. Christ carries his own cross. This fits with the high Christology in John, where the Savior does not need help, knows all things, and is completely in control. John portrays a Jesus who needs no assistance from mortals. This type of synopsis study adds a rich layer of context as we learn from both Simon and Christ. Will we allow others to serve us? Can we remember that we and those we love might be blessed when we do good, even when we are compelled? Will we pick up our own crosses in the attitude of following Jesus? And on a day when it seems like we can't go on, will we remember a Savior who carried his own cross and know that he can help us carry ours? To see more videos like this one, simply search Seeking Jesus. Thank you.